Is this thing on? And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Did y'all hear about uh, Ice Cube? Yeah. Man. Why why are they going in on Ice Cube? Yo, that, that goes back to what AI said, right? About people getting in their mm-hmm. feelings and canceling each right. other out, getting Yo, mad. like nobody did my no research is, though. No. Nah. Right. And my thing is, why can't why can't he do whatever he wants to? Mm-hmm. Like, let's say he, you know, and I looked into it because I, I saw the little bits and pieces of it. Right. Mm-hmm. I don't move on bits and pieces. I don't mm-hmm. uh-oh. Looks like we got frozen. Mm. Stand by. I'm not responding. Yeah, there we go. There you go. We're yeah. back on. Who, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, froze. We heard uh, bits and pieces. You don't respond yeah. to bits and pieces. I don't, I don't respond yeah. to bits and pieces of stuff. I have to do the research. Most of the right. time, I don't got time to do no research. Ain't nobody paying me to do no research about stuff like that. Right, right. So um, unless I really want to figure it out. So I looked into it. I'm like, yo, dude. He he's like, I want to go to whoever is going to listen. Power, yeah. Right. People calling him all types of names, cracking on him, and all of that. And it's like, yo, he's a grown man, right? Even if he, even if like the truth, because it sounds like the truth is, he went. Um, what is what, it? Democrat? They both. They yeah. They both. Mm-hmm said we're interested democrats said we're interested but let's wait until after the election right right or other side was like we're interested come in and talk to us he right. like hey whoever want to talk we could talk right but my thing is like let can he just go ahead on and be a grown man you know what's wild is um i i uh i wasn't familiar i didn't know he was doing any of this Right. So I just I found out about it because of all the smoke he was getting on social media. And so mm-hmm. I started doing some research and he did he did a he did an interview with the Breakfast Club like two months ago. Mm-hmm. And two months ago, he said, I'll work with whomever, Ever. whoever, whoever's in power. I'm going to work with them. You know, what I'm saying I don't care who it is because I'm not red. I'm not blue. You know, what I'm saying like. I'm for black people. You know what I mean? This is for black people. You know what I mean? Right. This is not for people of color. This is not for minorities. This is for black people, for descendants of slaves. You know, so he, he has an objective. He has an agenda. He has a goal that he wants to reach, you know? And, and in that in that interview, yo, like he he's not saying anything that nobody else is saying. He's like, he wants a whole... Co- yo, he even said what we talked about on the show. He was talking about them having uh, malpractice, cops having malpractice insurance. Mm. nobody else is talking about that. You know right. what I'm saying? Nobody on the Democratic side, nobody on, 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 on the Republican side is talking about that. Your man was talking about that. You know what I mean? And and it sucks that that he extended that invitation to the Democrats and they played him. They're like, yo, you know, we talk, you know, we talk to you later or whatever. And the Republicans were the only ones who was like, yo, let me see that. You know, let's have a conversation. You know, um, I think that I think I agree with what 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 um Charlemagne said, though, is that the Republicans trying to make it seem more than what it was. And I think that Republicans tend to do that more with minorities. Right. Anytime a minority is is is, is a Republican is like they put you up on this pedestal. Right. And they want to, mm-hmm. you know, prance you around to the whole mm-hmm. like, look, we got minorities to support us, you know. And I think that that's what they were doing with Ice Cube because he wasn't really he wasn't he, he never endorsed Trump. No. Right. No, he made a song about Trump a he year just, ago. Right. He just said, like, arrest, 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 um, arrest the president. Yeah. yeah. So did y'all watch the clip of him having an interview with um, Chris Cuomo? Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. y'all yeah. See, like I said, I pay attention to how things are set up. I really hated how they set set up. The process to get to him to be on, you know, on the right. on view, right. like right. the whole showing the 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 um the song, the right. piece of the right. song where they got him bleeping out the the curse word or what, all of that stuff really shapes weak minds, right? right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I I hate when they do that. It's just straight. Wait, did, did you see how Cube called them out though? 
Oh, absolutely. Immediately, like, the first yeah. sentence. It, yo, I loved it. I loved it. I yeah. absolutely <laughs> loved it. I'm like, good for you. I got a catch. What did he say, J- Jimmy? What did he say? He was like, I don't. He's like, I don't. I don't like how how you 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 set up the lead in or something like that. Your your lead in was misleading. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he said. Your he was lead in like, was so? misleading. Yeah, because he was because Cuomo was trying to say that he endorsed Trump. And he's like, mm-hmm. I never said that. He never you said know, that. Like, or, never. That he you know ran I mean? to Trump. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I I I peep how Cuomo kept trying to push that. Yeah, man, he, he kept, kept trying. He, he kept and and you could see Q was but, getting frustrated. But yeah, he looked that, mad. He looked but mad. But that's what the Republicans are doing mad. too. They're what making up? it seem like he's endorsing Trump as well. Yeah, they are. That's what I'm saying. It, like it's yeah. like both sides are making are making, and he's yep. saying, I just have oh. this thing called contract contract with uh, America. Black America. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to speak to the pe- you know, the, the people who are in charge and whoever gives me an ear. And obviously Trump gave him an ear. Now, some people yeah. feel like, oh, he uh, the, the Democrats uh, brushed them away. But in reality, Joe Biden is not in position right now. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, maybe they could have came and dialogued and had something. But it's like, y'all not really. You know what? What can Biden yeah. really do? You know what I mean? True, true. But now, I feel Trump, like he he still he still could have had the conversation with him. Like, look, this is what we planning to do because Biden is talking about what he's planning to do. Yeah, you know what I mean, so he could have easily talked to Q and been like, "Yo, I think we're gonna borrow some of what he's saying." He's already in the streets talking to people. We're gonna implement some of what he's saying. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't I don't think he needs to be president in order to have a conversation with the man. You know? Yeah. Especially when, but Biden, maybe Biden my thing is like. Going to any rallies or nothing like that. That dude is doing virtual. <laughs> he could have done a virtual convo with you. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's true. But boys, I, bo- boys ain't talking to um the president. Like, like that's also the thing we got to get straight. Like, Ice Cube isn't. He didn't explain contract with Black America to Trump. To Trump, right? right. It's but his. People. It's his part. And I think that sometimes when we say it like that, people weak minds that just don't understand. Right. They, they see it a certain way. Yeah. He's not yeah, going to sit point. down with Biden. He's going to sit down with Biden's campaign true, true, management yeah. or team. He didn't. He said he, he didn't meet Trump. He never met Trump. Yeah, he did say that. He met with the campaign people. We have to keep that in mind because that's a huge difference. Right. right. For all we know, I'm, I'm sure Trump knows about it. But for all we know, they may not know nothing about what he right. got. What they're sure saying, they're saying that that the platinum plan was. To use some of his uh stuff, right? That he had presented some of his ideas, supposedly. I don't know if that's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I heard I heard the same thing too. I, I didn't finish the, the Breakfast Club interview. Um, but I heard I heard a good portion of it. And so far from what I heard, I didn't I didn't hear anything that I read in the in the platinum plan. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I haven't heard the whole conversation yet right. as far as what the platinum plan or or I'm sorry, the contract is. Um, but I didn't, I didn't really hear too much. Cause I was agreeing a lot with, with cube. I was like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> let's, you know what I mean? Let's hold these cops let's accountable. Let, yeah. Let's hold these, 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 uh, public schools accountable. You know what I mean? Let's make these cops work in the communities that they service, you know, mm-hmm. uh, uh, all that. Um, I didn't make really them, see that. Make in them the live in the community. Right. Yeah. Right. That's what he was saying. That's what he was advocating. Um, you know, and there was a little pushback, like, oh, well, this might be dangerous for the cops. And he's like, well, let's have yeah, a conversation. Let's have some middle ground. The citizens. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> right. But what I'm saying is, like, from what I from that part of what I heard, again, I didn't finish the interview on The Breakfast Club. But from what I heard, um, none of that was in the platinum plan. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, okay. so, so I got to continue listening to see if there's that's, other stuff. That's, that was like what was out, you know. Yeah. And- and then yeah. the wording also is always like like um AI said, like, you know, everybody's making it seem like that was an, a direct endorsement of Trump or yeah, and you Trump. know and we don't know that. We don't know who he spoke. Well, he said he didn't even speak to Trump, so right. And you know what it was worse, I guess, because I've noticed that a lot of people were saying, well, because he didn't um I guess he didn't say or or, or kind of reply to Trump's people and saying like, well, you know, I didn't, I'm not for Trump. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. They were expecting him to constantly, you know, say something. Denounce Trump. Denounce, right. Denounce. Every other sentence, I denounce Trump. I well, denounce no, because, Trump. you know, that that person, Trump's campaign kept saying, kept 
firing yeah. off her tweets yeah. like, oh, Ice Cube did this. Ice Cube helped us with this. Haters going to hate. Like, she she was OD. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and she was doing a lot of that. And they were like, well, he not saying nothing about that. And then he was replying. So, like, I think D.L. Hughley had, um, I think he had reposted, like, a negative article on Q. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then Q replied to that. Mm. and was like yo that's not what i did or said so he was like yo why you coming at me but you ain't saying nothing to this republican lady right who keeps saying but that doesn't make sense to me right you know what i'm saying because why wouldn't he say something that was negative towards him right now this lady this republican lady saying he helped with this and that what is that ain't nothing wrong with that he's trying to push something he's trying right. to get something across so if that even helps his cause a bit why would he even mess that up by saying I'm not doing this or that? So that don't even make sense. And the fact that people are actually even trying to use that, like, oh, I mean, it, it, it's just, it makes no sense at all to me. Yo, I think I brought this up a couple pod, uh, episodes or podcasts, one of our earlier podcasts, but uh, Voss has said something that was really impactful. He's like, yo, what's up with all these rappers? You know, they get into beef. And they willing to squash the drama with each other. But when it comes to meeting the president or someone who's on the opposite side, they never want to come and sit. It's like, oh, don't you can't sit with uh, the Republicans or you can't sit with these people because they're against you. But, you know, you got okay. beef in the hood or you got drama somewhere else. It's, it's mm -hmm. all good. And and that's powerful because that's 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 what it seemed like. It's like, yo. You feel a certain type of way or you don't agree with the man, go speak to the man and let him know, like, yo, I don't agree right. with this. You know, I think we should change I'm this. Myself, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Especially when he give you open chemistry. door. Right. What you say? I said, especially when they give you open door. Oh, snap. Right. <laughs> you know? Right. You seen 50 Cent uh, uh, <laughs> endorsing Trump? Yeah. <laughs> well, he said that because of the taxes. Because of the taxes, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. in New York, it was supposed to be like 62% on the Biden's administration. And he's like, I don't care if Trump don't like black people. I'm voting for Biden. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> what is it with Trump? Well, I don't know. That's a great question. Less. If it's way less, it's way less. If it's sixty-two percent, if it's sixty sixty-two percent with Biden, it's probably like forty, like 50, forty fifty-four with Trump. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yo, switch. You know what's funny? When you said that, it's crazy, right? Because you're talking about that with the gangsters and some of these rappers saying this and that. But fail, they failed to realize that the whole point of a sit down, like gangsters do, was you were sitting down with your enemy. Mm. Right down with somebody you didn't like, right? And hashing out things with them. So yeah, you, you see that you see that in all the gangster movies. That's what I'm saying. Like you, you had to y'all had to come to the table and come to an agreement. I don't like you, but what's beneficial for right. our business? Um, you yep. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's facts, man. You, you see, you see your your, your boy uh, Umar Johnson was talking about that on Nick Cannon's podcast. Did y'all see that? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, it. we he was saw saying it. like you got to sit down. You know, some you don't got to like the person. You know, what I mean, it's all business. You know, and yeah. I think I think we see, we see a glimpse of that even with um with uh, uh what's his name Van Jones helping uh Kim Kardashian with the with the first step back, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, yeah. that was all him. You know, what I mean, he was he was he's been working on prison reform for the longest. You know, right. now imagine imagine he would have been like. I ain't working with Trump. I ain't doing none of that. Like, would we have prison reform now? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, See? But he's still real critical of... Yes. And I love that. Great, like you, right? Exactly. Exactly. Like, you thing, can't compromise like, your beliefs. Yeah. That's that's the thing, though. Like, I, I'm glad you said that. Like, like it, it, it doesn't make sense to people that somebody could work with someone but still be critical of them. Right. Like, like come right. on. Like, who... Like, what's with this, like, you pick this side or this side because you know whatever whatever the reasons are like i can't be over here but still be critical of this person or right. still say mm -hmm. x y and z or whatever like we got family members that we feel like that about right <laughs> that's the thing is that a lot of people don't like accountability it, it's right? there's only a small fraction of the population that like accountability and even within christianity you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. 
Whether, whether mm-hmm. it's 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 that goal setting mind, you know what I mean? Whether if you want to lose weight, you want to start a business, whatever it is, like there has to be some kind of accountability in your life. Right. A lot of people aren't open to that. You I know? think it's this whole it's this whole millennial pacification. Mm. Everybody's a winner. You What's know what a you mean? Oh, well, that too, right? Uh, you know oh, what I'm saying? Like everybody, particip- you mean participation trophies? Is that what right. you're talking about? Everybody gets a trophy. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's oh, that. Man. It's that. Did this dude thing. just say what he said? He just said what he <laughs> yeah. said. That's not Christian. Yeah. Welcome to our podcast. We're going to sample her voice. Right. <laughs> but you know, but you're right. like, that's what it is. It's, 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 it's crazy. Uh, yeah. I mean, and the fact that everybody, people now feel like everybody got to be friends. And if you disagree with that person, you're not their friend. You're totally out right. of their life. I'm blocking you. you. Can't have a disagreement. I can't. I can't believe you, Aunt. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm unfollowing. Yeah, hey, I'm subscribing. Getting I'm getting blocked all the time just because <laughs> like what I say. Yo, I I may be getting in my my girly bag, but um, I don't know if y'all ever heard of the show Girlfriends. Y'all know y'all heard the show. Up. My wife, <laughs> it's, uh, it's on Netflix. It's back on Netflix. Yeah, you know oh, I'm wow. <laughs> watching that. But listen, one of the things um, that I, I take away from that show is that these four women who are very different from each other get into all these issues with each right. other, coming at each other's head, break, you know, having pauses in their relationships for whatever reason, and like just, just a lot of drama. But they still remain friends, right? Regardless of their their views or their whatever, but something is something that still connects them. They right. not, may not agree with each other on a lot of stuff. They may do some stuff like, "Yo, you should not be doing that," and that right. person still do it. Right. And it's like, "Yo, it's a relationship type of thing." Like, and I think that's like one of the issues in society right now is people don't know how to have relationships. As soon as the relationship gets we that's it mm. um, like a wi-fi mm. <laughs> man i'm like yeah, oh shoot. this looking crazy i'm out but like you don't gr- you don't get to grow and have longevity with somebody uh, unless you really push yourself to you know live life with that person right you know? right right I, I think I think a lot of us just just when and I don't mean us, but I just mean that like an, as a generation, as a culture, I think that we we we're deceived in thinking that our followers are our friends. You right. Know? Like, See, but I don't think it's the social media age that has to do with it because I think even before huh? social media, people yeah. were like that that. maybe it's, it intensified now. But I mean, our grandparents um, and you our parents, sun, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I huh? think it was the same way. I well? think it was the same way. With our with our parents or our grandparents, said our abuela like, and abuela. No, yeah, I like so. I, it was probably the same they way. Like cutting they, each other off. Nah, yeah. you mean like what? As far as as far like, as like baby relationship? Boy? Yeah, the re- no, 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 the relationship wise and like uh, sort of uh, skipping the confrontation and like okay, I don't agree with you or you did wrong. Okay, you're not invited to Thanksgiving dinner, you know, it's type true. of thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've seen it. But yeah. I'm saying, but that's the that's family, what family. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was yeah. just gonna say that, but something about like family, and it, family doesn't always mean blood, right? Mm-hmm. But it's something about like eventually, y'all come around, like y'all, you know, not always, unfortunately, but eventually something comes back around, and it's like, okay, we're gonna squash this for the sake right. of right, right, right. Like someone mm-hmm. passes away, everybody's there. You and know? they squashing all types of people. Right, right. You right. still six months, you know, then they... Right. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Funerals be the... You know, I'm for, I was going to say be the funny things, but you know what I mean. I'm yeah. not saying funerals are funny. Yeah. Um, but comes it's out always it. interesting. It's always interesting um, how funerals bring people together. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. oh, y'all had beef and all types of stuff. Everything is good now. Um, and you talk about like, yeah, we got to keep in touch. We got to do this, do right. that. I thought that was, I thought that was just it my never family. happened again. I thought nah. that was just my <laughs> you mean this happens I've everywhere? I've been in my fair share of, of funerals, unfortunately, and it's yeah. always yo. We gonna link up. You know what I mean? <laughs> I still ain't playing this trip. <laughs> still ain't pick up the phone. It's that right. easy, or right. maybe for the first few days. 
Right. Yeah. Hey, girl. Hey, yo. La, la, la. Give him a little follow on Instagram. Maybe like That's a couple it. of pics. <laughs> then the algorithm kick in. And you're, you haven't right. seen Until y'all come yes. back again. Yeah. <laughs> it be like that. It's crazy. Wow. It's so sad, though. It's funny. Your, but it's yeah. So back to Ann's point, you do, you have a, a good point regarding, um, how our generation or even the ones coming up are more of the trophy. Yeah, you know. Ain't you my lost generation. That, you, well, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm including you, okay, brother? That ain't my generation. <laughs> <laughs> the, you know, yeah. they'll be like, you know, you lost you lost bad in that football game, but, you know, you're still first place for us. You know, yeah. You that's know? a LeBron that's generation. That's a LeBron generation. Yo, shut generation. your mouth, all right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what, what you mean. Watch, LeBron watch your mouth, beloved. Watch your mouth, beloved. <laughs> That is. Watch your mouth, <laughs> beloved. <laughs> Shop oh, that that's not Christian. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's, that it's true. The Isha line. <laughs> oh, you saw that? <laughs> oh, you saw that, huh? <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. I thought it was the funniest thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, Yo, it's good stuff. <laughs> you know what? You know what I did like about the whole thing? That Cube didn't care. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, but but he said that um in a in a string of tweets not too long ago. He said, mm-hmm. "Y'all called me a sellout when mm-hmm. I did this. Yep. Y'all yeah. called me a sellout when I did movies. Y'all called me a sellout when I blah blah blah." And then when I got you know whatever team he got or whatever whatever he got, they said he said they three. said it was a sellout. The big yeah. three. Yep. He's yep. like, "Y'all been calling me a sellout." So it's All nothing right. new to him. He got the right. grit for it. So, so what makes it what makes him special than than everybody else who gets canceled if they he voice can't their get canceled they ain't cancel him and that's what I'm saying like they didn't cancel him but there have been because other people who crown. have voiced their opinion, the voice and pain when Kanye came out and he had that meeting with him it was all well, over like or well, like a Cardi but well, like Kanye being Kanye what did Cardi been, do no she so, sat down with Biden forget about Cardi yeah, I, yeah anyway. hell yeah forget about her right forget about that that was ridiculous. <laughs> But go ahead, Kanye. Now, I'm saying Kanye been, you know, people always looked at him funny, like up and down. He's always been. People got respect for Cube. Yeah, Cube has mm-hmm. like, a, you know what I'm saying? Look who he is. Look where he came from. <laughs> Look, right, right. You know, his history alone. Right. Cube had got like, um, the only word I could think of is soft, but I got to pause. But if he got like soft when they told him whatever, right, mm-hmm. and was like, you know, no, nah, really, I felt like da 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 da. He may have had a small space in which he could have got canceled, right. But because he has respect and he's looked at a certain way, and he stood his ground and was like, I don't right. care, y'all can feel however y'all want to feel, right. It's just like when we was in high school. Come on now, and somebody came at you slick. And they didn't say it to your face at first, but you heard everybody saying like, yo, so-and-so said X, Y, and Z. And you go you to them and you blah. like, yo, you said blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. They man, stand I and you say, say that. It, mm-hmm. yeah, oh, you soft, you done yeah. for a couple weeks. <laughs> oh, man, I was just <laughs> playing. I was just exactly. playing, man. I would, come on. But, but if you stand in front of them and be like, yeah, I said it. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, right. okay. Either, <laughs> right. y'all, either y'all fighting or I got respect for you. Right. All right, man, that's how you felt. That's how you felt. We're going to exchange words right. and we're going to move it on. But right. that's the same thing that it's just a Twitter high school, man. Right. Now, Twitter it's, high school. I like that. <laughs> now, it, now back, back, back to y'all, like with Jay, what I was saying, is it different than what Cardi B was trying to do with Biden she in a sense where she sat down with Biden and she well, her questions interview. were dumb. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> oh, I don't want higher taxes. Or it but sounded. Or it but sounded. I want to give everybody. I want to give everybody. What? Everybody gets a pony. So yeah. you're no, but I'm saying, but that's her. You're that's surprised how, by the messenger. <laughs> I think the only the only difference is that um, Yo, Cube ha- has an actual plan. Like he has something. Cube has a plan, and uh, and he's, right. he just wants to he's execute to, it. Right, right. And so he doesn't care, he, he doesn't care how he gets it done as long as it gets done. Right. And you got to remember too, man. Cube is independent, independent. 
You know what I'm saying? Like he don't need yeah. anybody. Like do whatever first of all, you want. he doesn't have to do anything for his rest of his life. He's secure. You know what I'm saying? Like dude isn't only a rapper. Like he's a film producer. You know right. what I'm saying? Like not not just an actor, a film producer. You know what I mean? Right. He's got numerous films under his belt. So he don't need anybody's approval. You know what I'm saying? Like, so the fact that he he approaches the topic with like that energy, you know what I mean? He can be like, yo, I don't care. He could be on his gangster and be like, yo, like, this is what I said. I said what I said. This is not what happened. This is what happened. And I don't care what y'all think. You know what I mean? Um, I think yeah. that's why he can't get canceled, you know, because nobody has the keys to cancel him, you know? Nope. Ah. Yeah, that's a fact.